Dude, you brought some liquid debt? Yes. What is this? Do you like water? Dude, I love water. I'm made of water. That's, that's water. Let's, let's check this out. So somebody told me that Tony Hawk owns the company. I think I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't I, know if that's true. I do know that he gave some blood and his soul that he said online. Oh, yeah, that's right. But I don't trust the internet. So that's something that should be looked up before talking about. Liquid Death Tony Hawk. I think I have heard of that. But I had a customer give me one of these. So they have the mountain water and then a sparkling water. I'm not really into sparkling water, but um, the mountain water is not bad. It is owned by Tony. But it was crazy because you ever just see something and then all of a sudden, like, you see it again later and it's big and you're, you're like, well, hey, I, I saw that a year ago. And they was like, I had no idea that they would ever do anything. Yeah. And now everyone's drinking it. Like I said, it was like some, like, you know, emo kid that in his living with his dad, buying his dad's like, yeah, my son buys all this on my credit card. And it shows up every two weeks. <laughs> And so that's how I found out about it. And then um, I started mm. seeing a bunch of podcasters with it. And I'm like, man, they're, they're getting a little wave. I've never seen like water in an aluminum can. And then I started my new job a week ago. And I said, oh, I'm going to show up and drink one of these. Because it looks, if you look at it, it looks like a beer, right? Yeah. So everyone at work's like, what the full drink on the clock? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? No, that's pretty good water. It's not bad. And I think uh, because you're used to like a... I'm trying to get since I got COVID. I'm sorry. Can you take off your jacket? Is it bad? <laughs> I have a bunch of stuff in here. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. And it's all right. All right. It's all right. Oh, what were you saying? I'm sorry. Uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? What were you saying? I'm sorry for interrupting. Oh, I got COVID. Oh yeah. I got COVID. The old vid. And uh, Kobe. It wasn't that bad. No, it was bad. Wasn't that bad? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't good. Uh, no. So, uh, and I use a, like a one or two, uh, energy drink guy, like every day, <sighs> every day, except for Saturday and Sundays. Cause you know, uh, that's the Lord's day. Yes. Um, yeah. but well, I got COVID and I couldn't drink it. Uh, I wasn't smoking. I wasn't doing anything. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this opportunity to stop drinking energy drinks. Mm. And so I, I have, and then, um, uh, but you know what? There's like, you know, the addiction part, I guess, is like, oh, I just want to crack it open, <sighs> take that cold sip, and you're like, oh, this, this is awesome. And that kind of gives that to me. But um, that's how smoking. As is. a religious man, I don't feel comfortable buying something called Liquid Death, but it tastes so good. Sometimes, you know what? Oh, I gotta let a couple things slide. Looks, dude. I thought it was. I seriously thought it was like some like ale. <laughs> it just, it definitely looks like some ale, like just the way that it's marketed but and hey, everything. Do you want? Uh, some beer? No, I would. I wouldn't want to drink beer this early. No, 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 no. But I wanted to get the coffee down. Do you ever drink alcohol early in the morning? I have. Yeah. I was like nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it now. I'm like, I got something. I, I got to get done today. One time I went camping. We woke up at six and we just started getting shit faced. We were shit faced by like eight eight a.m. That's early, dude. <laughs> it was bad. It was a rough evening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. But um. Yo, that new Limp Biscuit joint. It's awesome. It Dude, is awesome. It sounds awesome. It it I'm not gonna lie. It kind of goes with the liquid death, you know? It's it's like a trend. You yeah. know what? That might be why they're pushing it to the front of everything, because you know the way they push the trends. But it is weird that Fred I mean, Fred Dursk is awesome. Like that's he's uh it's weird because you've for us, like we've watched them forever. Yeah. So for people that are just finding like that Lollapalooza event that they did in July, mm -hmm. um, you know, kids bought tickets for, you know, Meg the Stallion, not, yeah. not to see Limp Bizkit, but then Limp Bizkit's there. And, um, it was an hour set, you know, for someone that hasn't put out any like real, like, re I mean, to me, I'm a Limp Bizkit fan. So everything they do is relevant, but it was a mainstream, pff, what, rolling my way of the highway or something. Yeah. So 20 years later, they get a main stage set and they got love. And then the sad yeah. thing is they canceled their tour. Uh, in fact, yeah. after shot going on this weekend, mm -hmm. I wanted, I was mm -hmm. going to go Thursday to see Limp Bizkit. I was going to go just oh, they Thursday. Perform? They were supposed to, and then they canceled Oh yeah, that's right. Tour. They canceled. Uh -huh. I was bummed. Yeah, shit. <laughs> I was bummed. I was like, finally, you know, as a kid, you don't have money to go to these concerts. Dude, there's this like movement going on of just bringing shit back. There's just so many things coming back. Like, uh, I was talking to my sister about it. She's a child, mm -hmm. so she has her perspective on it. But <laughs> iCarly, you know, she's got a new show, uh, right? They're bringing back that '70s show as that '90s, that 90s show. show. I'm okay with that. That, I've, dude, I'm excited for that. Remember, they tried an '80s show 
first yeah they season. did they I did i don't even know if they made it as i don't even know yeah it was like one episode and i can't find that shit online i'm okay you know it's weird you can't find a lot of things online no you, you can't. and i get copyright but like mad tv i used to love to find oh. old mad tv and just watch it and now you can't you can't Dude, find anything a, that, or you do it's like a recording of a recording mm-hmm. so when i was a kid and just discovered YouTube, and I was like so into watching like sketch comedy, like Whitest Kids You Know, Mad TV, some Saturday Night Live sketches, mm-hmm. and everything. And that was the shit that I would show like my mom. You know how like you kind of sh- like when you're a kid, you show your mom some shit, mm-hmm. and that was the only shit that I could show her that made her laugh. And you'd only get two two reactions normally. It'd be yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You'd get the laugh. When you got the laugh, you felt so good. Oh, yeah. I did something. She like genuinely likes it. I'm like, yes, I provided happiness I for will you. find this again for you. I will replicate this yeah. one, Mom. <laughs> get closer to the mic, too, by the way. Mm. You're going to have to like kiss it. I can do that. I can do that. Let's do an ASMR podcast, actually. This is for the next whatever. That's a lot of a lot of breathing. Since COVID, I haven't re- I haven't recovered. They do this shit on there. Oh man, I'm already annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> One time, I saw an ASMR video of some uh, some girl eating hot Cheetos, and she just like wolfs down the bag so she gets that. <sighs> like she was doing that it's just shit. All running. She was like just tearing up and shit, and it was like, who the fuck? Watches that shit. Can you? At what, at what point? You know, at what point in the day is it all right for you to start eating a bag of hot Cheetos? Because <laughs> I remember in you know high school, you'd see people with bags of hot Cheetos, and in the first period, I'm like, man, what the fuck are they doing? You're like, damn, yeah. I'd be lucky if I got a donut, some chocolate. I mean, even then, it was like once in a while. I mean, but it was like, the, I guess the vending machine started providing it, so then you can kind of do whatever you want. Dude, if you really think about it, breakfast is just the most fucked up meal of the day. I, like we can literally eat like cupcakes and shit it's for funny, breakfast. It's funny to say that now because I don't eat breakfast now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, coffee, water—that's basically that's it. That's it. Yeah. Or energy drink when mm-hmm. back in those days. But uh, man, it's so funny because I remember my senior year in high school. It was a long time ago, but my senior year in high school was the first year that California got control of some of the schools, you know, foods inside schools. Oh yeah, yeah and they yeah, took yeah. all the junk at like, so all yeah. the main Doritos. They replaced it with baked. Baked yeah. Lays. Yeah, yeah, there was yeah. no more candy. Uh, the watermelon, little Sour Patch Kids was uh, awesome. Yeah, I Good remember getting slushies. There was slushies. You at had work. slushies at we your had school? slushies at at our school. Man, and I remember school lunch used to be so good. They'd have the square pizza with like three pepperonis in the middle. That was nuggets. fine. I didn't really care for that too much. I do like the. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember. I did like the chocolate milk. Um, Chocolate milk is always busting. You know, it's, it is. I actually uh, converted to strawberry. So I've been a strawberry milk, oh. strawberry shake guy. Strawberry main? Main. Okay. Main. Uh, last night, we went in and out. I got a chocolate oh. shake. Oh. I got it. And even my girl was like, chocolate shake. And I was like, yeah. I don't know what. Um, I had a Heath bar. I went, I, I door dashed. Mm-hmm. I door dashed some things to my house on Friday night, and uh, I didn't realize what I was tapping. And my my thumb just glided. Across. I ended up ordering uh, Altoids on accident, <laughs> uh, a Heath bar on accident, and uh, Twinkies. And everyone's like, "Oh, the fat guy would get Twinkies." And everyone's kind of like, you know, they all know me. They're like, mm-hmm. never eat Twinkies. And I go, I sh- I ordered forty dollars worth of convenience store stuff from DoorDash, and I didn't know because uh, I wasn't paying attention. I just, yep, yep, yep. Hurry up and get here, lady. Damn. Shout out, Brittany. I don't. <laughs> I I've never door dashed before. I just don't. This is a, too much. This is a door dash nightmare coming to a complex like this. Anywhere where you got to Oh, dude, this is a sh- I've seen Amazon workers in like in my apartment complex just like, "Hey, do you know where this pl- this place is?" And I was like, "I don't really know. I think it's that way." What number? What number? It's like 200 something. Well, it's definitely on the second floor if it's 200, but I have no fucking idea. You know what? I just moved in. This elevator's new. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, no, dude. I have I would hate to come up here. People hate coming up here all the time. I always time. think about pizza. Uh, like, pizza delivery guys, not pizza. I always uh, think about pizza, but not. Yeah. Uh, but pizza delivery guys, mm-hmm. they've had the roughest job since that job was a job. Yeah, yeah. Anything delivering. They're, okay, Dude, okay, tell me if this is weird. This is the weirdest thing that's ever happened from to me with an Amazon 
package delivery. So the guy comes through. Actually, it wasn't. It was FedEx because I ordered something off of Walmart. So Fuck FedEx. Dude, really? But like. No, my dad works for UPS, so shout out UPS. Oh, okay. All the ups out there. All the well, ups. FedEx, we're about to dish on you. But so the <laughs> guy comes up to me, the guy comes up and he's like, Oh, you're here. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you're here. And I was like, Yep, I'm all here. And he's like, Okay, can I get you to come downstairs and help me? What? And he's like, Yeah, it's just me by myself and I need help carrying this stuff. And it was like a furniture set. This is your package? Yeah. And so I was like, Yeah, sure. So I went down to the FedEx truck. And I went into the FedEx truck to help him bring out my furniture set, my living room furniture set. Like all of that shit came in on the same day. And you carried all that. Up and there? and him and I carried that shit up there. We to took be multiple honest, trips. I would have with, assumed that you carried most of that up here. It is your furniture. But I get if you yeah, but like it's weird and that handling. Yeah. If you paid for the handling, I for show sure you. I know what the fuck. Did you pay handling? I d- pull that receipt. I out. have no clue. It's been a while. Money. I don't want to. I don't have my phone. I'm, but I'll, I'll call HR for you. <laughs> I have great customer I, you, service. You know what? I should have relied on UPS. <laughs> but you know uh, what? I remember uh, I did a report on my dad and UPS in the eighth grade. Oh yeah, and I used to. He's been working school. there that long. <sighs> he, wow. Yeah, he's got a. Uh, 20, 20 something years now. That's nice. That is, that's a good job to have yeah, for that yeah. long. But I remember I did this report. I'm walking down the hall and there was a kid. I wasn't bullied a lot, but there was definitely a kid who just didn't like me. Mm-hmm. And it, he wasn't like a like a bully, like a threat. So it wasn't something where you were like, this kid's going to beat me up. He would just say stuff, maybe throw something at you. But it was something like, why are you throwing like a daisy at me? That's odd. But yeah. whatever. But he definitely had uh, donuts. He had donut holes. And he would look, he grabbed... We happened to be walking, and I knew what he was going to do. He said, take my paper, probably throw it on the ground. He puts a donut in there, and he closed it on my report. And oh. luckily, it was uh, just glazed, so I could just brush most of that off. But, uh, yeah. And then he said a really inappropriate joke about uh, UPS. I won't repeat that on air. Uh, but just for the record, I remember that guy. I remember that. Fuck him, dude. Yeah. Fuck him. You know what's funny is he's probably not doing too good. He's probably not doing too good. That's the funny thing. I was like, I like... <sighs> I guess I'm too cynical, but sometimes, you know, people that just like fucked with me mm-hmm. and they're just not doing too well. Uh, and it's like. I want everyone to do well, you know, but there's some people I go, you know, if you fail, no, I laugh. I don't want to see. OK, me wanting everybody to not fail is just too much energy that I'm letting everyone borrow. But if you think about it that way and everybody was succeeding. There probably wouldn't be too many things to complain about. There'd be a lot of ups. Yeah. There no, so many humans are really good at finding and exposing well, I guess problems. that's not true either. Because you remember, uh, Jim, what was it? Jim Carrey had that movie where he played God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruce uh, Almighty. Yes. I love that movie. Okay, remember when he just goes to the control? Yes. And yeah. then he just starts granting everybody's oh, yeah. prayers. Uh, that didn't go well. No. I mean, you would think that goes well. So maybe uh, you're onto something. I was yeah. wrong. I take that back. Yeah. I take that back. Man, um, no, I'm not doing all that to the mic. I do that constantly. It's fun to watch. It lets me know that that the mic is mine. You know, no one ever touches this mic. This mic is yours as well. Yeah, I know. Don't do that while I'm using it. A lot of shit is mine. (laughs) Uh, Did you watch Dave Chappelle's new uh, special? Yes, of course. Dave Chappelle's the man. I just want to say. I didn't find it as funny as some of the other ones, but it was a little bit more like, or he's a really smart guy, mm-hmm. you know? And so I like, I didn't even really laugh that much. I was just like really into like the shit that he was saying. He's just a really like down to earth, smart person. I think that's why it was so funny. Yeah. You know, to get any, t- killing him softly is one of the best stand ups. Oh God. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Um, it's funny. To, I've been, I remember watching stand up. Uh, in the early 90s because once Comedy Central started having those 30 minute to hour long uh, oh, stand up yeah. specials that changed the game it did because every kid could watch it and uh, yeah. because even if you could find like the late night stuff and even if it was a repeat you'd watch it anyway you knew the jokes but you like Nick Swartzen everybody remembers him oh, yeah. and uh, the Nicholas with his grandma those were awesome bits uh, but yeah Kill Him Softly that was one that you just stood above the rest Yeah, and um, to watch him still doing Netflix he has had a couple of stand ups where uh you know, it is more woke woke talk, and which is fine because it's coming from somebody who has something to say. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'll always listen. That's a guy you're always going to listen to. Yeah. Uh, this last one, it's 
it's funny because he's talking about things that in, in 2021 you're like, oh, it's taboo. And it seems like as a cult where we are now, there isn't anything that's off limits that we aren't saying out loud that we're doing. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, you're not allowed to talk negatively about anything. And the fact that that's kind of no. what he does, but he's doing it because he's, you know, there's also so many stories and messages in that that allow, you know, you got to remember like, it's we all got to laugh at each other. I think the the misconception right now is that everybody has to like everybody. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like right now there's a there's like a this movement that's disguised as something else, but in the end it's I want you to love me and if you don't you hate me and it's because of something about me and that I find offensive. Like if if, if I'm like, I don't know why we think that we have to fuck with everybody or everybody has to fuck with us or like even everybody has to find us attractive. There's some people out there that are genuinely offended if you don't find them attractive. And it's just like, I used to be that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I am that way. Why wouldn't you find me attractive? There's something wrong with you. But like, I just think that like, I don't know if I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't have to like you, you know, and it's just so fucking it's so bullshit that people th expect you to like them, especially if they're like, you know, if, if, if their identity is like who they are, if they project that shit all the time, which happens to be a lot of people like that are, you know, that just wear their political opinions like a mask, which is 98 percent of yeah, everybody now. So. I mean, you know what? I'm guilty of it. I don't I fucking like you. That doesn't mean I'm going to be mean to you. I'm always going to be a decent human being, the best that I can to everybody that I can. But if I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you, dude. Like, I'll still stand in line with you at the grocery store. You know, like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, like, look around and be like, oh, we got one of those. You know, like, I, like I'm not like that. It's just like, just like, shut up and leave me alone. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have to, like. Now, are these, are these interactions you've had with people in real life or on online on the lines as they say both more so online but both because one thing i as i get older i realize you know on the lines everyone's gonna have you know there's so many people that, that um you know you really like like in real life they post something that you're like mm -hmm. when did you post that did you, if you look that up that's completely not right or you're like sometimes it's something really funny or something really cool but there are people that just uh you're like, oh man, I, I thought so. I, there's so many people I guess I grew up with that I just put on a pedestal and was like, oh, you're so much smarter or tell They just had something that you're like, you envied in them. And then yeah. you see them post something really silly about a political thing and you, they just drop. And, yeah, and then, dude, and that's that has right happened either. with a lot of street smart people that I used to look up to. Mm -hmm. And then they like, We'll post some silly shit consistently. I don't. I don't hold you against one dumb one, post. One or two. Hey, hey. That's I had fine. a bad day too. It's not but a big deal. When you know, or like you just need a take that's checked. You know, but some people are just like are just too militant on there, and it's like, what happened to this like peace? Peace. Oh, shit, and I'm not you know? above the rest. I I had a, a solid three, four, five month run where I was bang, 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 bang. Yeah, <laughs> I was, I was, dude, I got caught up in it, it, like, you know, at the, you know, at the start of COVID and shit. And I felt like, you know, I was like, Bored. I'm a fucking debate. <laughs> Everybody. I love, but yeah, like, but I, I love today. debating. I love, I love talking things out and like, oh, we disagree. I like to figure out why we disagree, not why you are wrong. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. But I don't know. Because it's, you know what it is? Somebody said something about something that you liked and you are a hey, not today. You I, it, you ran I ran into that comment. I scrolled through all 290 of these. I picked you. Yeah. And we're going to war now, whether no. you know it or not. <laughs> and and you know it's funny, you'll see some of those are probably go like 14 deep, and then other people jumping in there and you're mm -hmm. like, damn. Oh, dude, the pile, I dude, like, I hate the pile on when I'm talking to somebody and hit them and I are like doing this exchange and then three other people hit in with like non-constructive criticism of just like, well, what do you know? You're, I looked at your profile picture and you look white. <laughs> like yeah, that's, I, I do. I do look white. Like, what? Yeah. But I'm not. I mean, I'm half. 
A good half. What's really weird because my <laughs> sister is telling me she's she's in high school. She's 16 years old. She's a junior in high school, and she's telling I me what that's like now. And she's telling me that there's I do not to be a 16 year old girl. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> the, no, high school's a trip right now. Like I, I even like I'm a custodian at a high school too, and so there's just like so much more politics. It's so weird. Like people are like people are wearing BLM shirts at at school, and like there is BLM stuff and like LGBTQ stuff, and like when I went to high school, there was just the Gay Alliance Club. That's it. <laughs> That's all it was called was the Gay Alliance Club. And now it's like, like there's rainbow flags in all, like most of the classrooms I walk into, there's like all of these posters of like, you know, protest and, and, and rise up and, and all of this shit. And it's just like, what? I never thought of this shit in high school. And I don't know if it's okay for, I have honestly have no, no idea if it's okay for high schoolers to like really like be boggling this shit in their mind when there's other stuff that they really, you know, should be focusing on. Yeah. Um, this is, that's a, it's a lot. That's a lot. Um, cause you don't want to say the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Luckily for you, I don't care about the wrong thing. <laughs> um, so you're, you're right. You're right. It was just the, you know, I think they started to change it with the letters in the school. And it was crazy is that, you know, as you get older in life, you meet people you went to school with and then even uh. friends you had change and stuff. So uh, it, it's crazy to, you do really have friends you can dip in and out of all these different kind of mm -hmm. communities and uh, check in on those folks. It's so funny because when you talk to a lot of people that aren't, um, they don't have a lot of time, I guess, on their hand to mm -hmm. you know, dye their hair and just get, you know, real deep in certain things. It's fine to do that. Just, you know, you don't, f when somebody's saying, Hey, I've had enough of this today. No more. You mm -hmm. can't keep that's and anything, you know, it's just like oh, religious, yeah. you know, people call them religious nuts. You know, some people may find that offensive. Yeah. I don't, but you know, cause we all have that one friend. Everybody knows that one friend, but at school, I don't agree. I mean, that's just like, when, when is it? Cause anything can be, can, uh, what am I trying to say here? Because I don't want to say the, the wrong thing. Uh, you know, everyone gets away with saying whatever they want because they can use any kind of excuse, any sort of defense. Like, oh, this is how I want to express myself today. Mm -hmm. Leave me alone because I can express myself anyway. Yeah. It's, it's America, right? You start showing kids showing up uh, to school in like bondage <laughs> or doing the, <laughs> doing the doggy thing. Just like little boys, you know, jumping oh, around God. as dogs or frogs yeah. now. I saw a kid at, at my school who's wearing a dress. Well, like, you know, the school that I worked with that and he was wearing a dress and i was like i mean it's okay i just you know girls their age don't See, even wear dresses like that to school so the, the 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 coolest people the people that are telling us are the coolest people on the planet young thug he wore a dress yeah but nobody's to say because you know they say he's really not not that he's feminine but he's really like you yeah, that's a guy is he uh, gay no no, no. Is he, well, he could be. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Because the last Dre song that he was that on, just say, "Hey, you're in a dress, you you little girl." He's really gonna honestly approach you about that. I, and I think you I think about that. Give well, a fuck. You can't approach that guy in school now because you're a bully. All of a sudden, I mean, they've always yeah. been bullies, but that kid back 20, 30, 40 years ago got beat up. Yeah. I mean, that's sad to think about now. But you're like, why are you wearing a dress? Because something you know back then, you know, mm -hmm. they're like, "Oh, that was going on." Oh, it's always been going on, right? But kids wearing dresses. Yeah, showing up to school that was you're asking for attention or I mean most of this is all for attention isn't it Every, everything right now we're doing this so. for attention yeah no, no that's real we all yeah. love attention I mean Atten dude that's what I'm trying to build a business off of is, is capitalism attention, baby you know? don't so. don't buy your you know $1,500 laptop and slap a an F capitalism sticker on there either. yeah dude <laughs> <laughs> or police lives matter because you can get canceled really quickly dude it, the thing that bothers me I don't know if it bothers me or uh, well, what is your take on this? So like you have, do you know Hassan Piker? No, sir. Okay. Do you know who, um, I don't know who that other bitch is, but she's like, Who's Hassan? she's like a TikToker. She oh. wears like that Bernie crop top and she's like, she looks like Pokemon, but isn't, I've, I forgot her name, but she's, you know, she's just, I don't know. But like they, they actively talk about like socialism on their platforms and they're like capitalism's 
fucking stupid. We need socialism. We need to do all this shit. Thanks for supporting my work. I just bought a $3.5 million house. And it's like, whoa. What? Hey, shout out this girl. We should hang out with her. <laughs> she got the money. She got the monies too. She got the online and but the like monies. you know Hassan Piker. He's a he's a political commentary Twitch streamer. Who is it now? Yeah, Everybody I know. <laughs> we're we're political commentators now Today? technically, but um, no, he just sits there and watches videos. Anytime anyone mentions him, <laughs> mentions him. He'll watch the video and he'll like, like analyze it and shit like that. And some of the stuff I, I really do like of his, but then at the same time too, it's like really hard for me to grasp that you're 100% for a specific political, like, or no, I'm sorry, uh, economic idea. And then you benefit greatly from the one that you're casting doubt on. And it's almost like, uh, like to me, it seems like, hey, I'm going to play this game and then right when I make it, I'm going to work hard to, to see if I can change it. Or like they would change it so that they're on just another level and they're locked there. Because mm -hmm. once, well, like, just say if we just said, all right, flip to socialism. I kind of feel like people are going to be locked at least for the rest of their lifetime. Like like us, if we all just said, hey, we're this is the new rules now. Uh, you, me, we would never advance. We'd probably go down, but the like, I just feel like rich people would stay rich. Now, it's, in this socialistic world, are we at the top? Because I'm okay, I'm okay with it if we're at the top. If we're at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, let's keep it the way it is now. Wait a second, though. Where, uh, where can I? Yeah, <laughs> I'm okay with it, but can I? Uh, Yo, can I? Can how I get do some I get more to the top? <laughs> is, is there a way to get to the top here? Or in the, who? Dude, people are always going to take advantage of the system, though. If we become a socialist system, uh, people are going to find ways. You don't think that there's rich people in Russia? There's not a single rich person in Russia? I feel like a lot of people... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of poor people in Russia. But. Everywhere. There's a lot of poor people everywhere. Yeah. Um, but you know what's funny is uh, the older I get, the poorer I get. You know, and it's like, what are you talking <laughs> about? I'm making more money than I ever did. But in, yeah. in life, you're looking at everything like, wow. In some places, how many... You look at the opportunities... You know, there's probably some places you can't even go work at. Like, everyone goes, oh, you just go get a job at McDonald's. McDonald's is paying pretty well, I hear. I mean, not that I know, but I, I hear. You work at night shift. It's 18 bucks an hour. That's more than I get paid. And, I mean, if you're a, a younger person, you could probably get hooked up with, like, a scholarship through there. It doesn't seem oh, very yeah. hard. Tuition assistance they over there. They want to send you to school. Yeah. They want, I mean, they because they look good. But, you know, they most people, most of these places want to help. Right? That's why I got to believe. I got to believe that so, they want to help when I put my change in that thing to send some kid to college. Yeah. There's this new thing going on with like Chipotle and Target and McDonald's. And what they're doing is they're like giving out tuition and assistance. Oh, Chipotle's figured it out. Or not Chipotle, uh, Chick-fil-A. Have you seen Chick-fil-A's new model? I haven't. There, I, I didn't want to cut you off, but I it, I just thought about this. Because you can't walk into, I don't know of any Chick-fil-A's you can walk into right now. They're sticking to hold to just running you through the uh, fast Drive food through? line. Yeah. Or you pull up to a number and get your food. My girl loves that, so she's always. There's no lobby. There. They don't I, do no lobby. The lobby shit. in our one is closed, and the one in uh, the city up is closed as well. And they're just. I think that's going to be the future. Nobody, because like, think about it. I don't want to clean a lobby. Just run your food. You clean up your ass. But what like, about the you people know? that just want to sit down? They, you know, it's after church on a Sunday, and they're with their family and want to enjoy a burger. Take or, that shit home with you. Oh, they're not open on Sunday, so I guess that's that fixes that. <laughs> <laughs> um. What was I saying? What was in I and out, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Home, like, uh, in and out does this, too. They're, they're going to give out, like, tuition assistance instead of giving more money because, and I've heard this is, like, what's controversial about it, is, like, the reason why they're offering tuition assistance is because they know that not enough people are going to use that then if they were just to give everybody 2 to $3 raise. Well, if they put that money in an account, it's and nobody's winning it, right? Or yeah. nobody's going for it. What's, what's just sitting there? I mean, it, the, like, it's just an advertising thing. But as far as, uh, like, you said raises? It goes to raises? Well, like, it's either, like, you could either get a raise. Well, I mean, it's not like you have a choice or anything like that. But it's just like these companies are like, instead of giving a raise, why don't we do tuition assistance? I just got a raise. So that we don't have to pay them more. I and then, like, not enough people are going to use it. Because, like, if I worked at Target, I'm not going back to school. I already got my AA. I'm out of it. I'm done with school. I went to school, and it's funny. As soon as I, my job was like, here's full time, here's full time hours. You're like, oh, this is a full time paycheck. Yeah. 
Peace. Yeah. Police Academy. <laughs> that's that's why I was going to the police academy. I wanted to be a CHP officer. Oh fuck that, dude! Man. I couldn't be a CHP officer. I, you know, I always thought I'd be. Like, I don't like CHP officers, but I totally understand everything about that job and why it's hard. <laughs> like, like I, he wanted to be a police officer. Like, like I just like I'm I like I'm scared and I don't want to talk to him. But I also respect the fact that you took a shitty job that somebody's got to take. And Man. it's a fucking, it's a, it's a hard job. I've known somebody who's worked CHP. Uh, CHP officers are, man, you know, police are, police have a hard job. I mean, what's look, it called other, uh, like, like in Tennessee, is it THP? Oh, <laughs> highway patrolmen. So they're not, yeah, not, not calling them know. chips. We call them I, chips. Because, because of the TV show. Man, if you were getting called chips before chips, you were shaking it somewhere else. That's yeah. <laughs> but CHP officers, you know, the cool thing about those guys is that training they go through. Like, that's kind of like a military that keep you mm -hmm. uh, there. Oh, yeah. You got to, uh, the hardest thing, the funnest thing that I made me want to do was like, oh, you get to do a NASCAR track? They go, you take our car and go out there. And they actually have to perform some sort of stunts. I mean, oh, I didn't get very shit. far into the, uh, into the protocol here, so I don't know. Just drift it. <laughs> but I, you know what's so funny is I know more people that became CHP officers than uh, actual police. And I do know somebody who became a police officer uh, right before all the George Floyd stuff. And uh, let me tell you, his life has not gotten any easier. And it's funny, mm -hmm. he took the job because he wanted to support a family. Yeah, I mean, you could get any job to support a family, but that was something that came with benefits and stuff. Yeah. And poor guy. Shout I out just, to you. You Dude, you I'm so fucking terrified of the cops when i worked at i worked at a, a pop farm a legal pop farm by the way aren't and they was, all legal well this was six seven years ago so <laughs> there was like just like like right when california was like hey we might think about making this recreational but um no we were just trained on cops and stuff and it's like so weird because like basically the idea is cops their job is to look for trouble not cause it but just look for it mm -hmm. sometimes fucking light went out god damn it um so, yeah right that one so sometimes though it's just dude fucking cops are scary they just, that's all they do is look for trouble just what? patrolling so, there's just so a shark let me be on the other side of that no 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 of course of are course you, of course are you causing trouble no i don't know well <laughs> When you're sitting in your car, just, <laughs> so, you know, is this 2014, 2015? Nowadays, yeah. it's kind of like, hey, I'm in my apartment. Leave me alone. Yeah. It is, yeah. You're like, hey, I'm in front of my own house. And you're just in front of your I own, just like, you know, because because I've been pulled over when I'm like 22 and yep. I'm like, I'm going 10 over and shit like that. And they write me up a ticket. And then it's like, all right, for the next three months, I'm like, fucked. Just like you know, like right. now I got to save up $500 to pay for this goddamn ticket because I went 10 over. Let me tell you something. I know, you need gosh. a cop friend. You need a cop friend. I need friend. a cop friend. I got some cop family, actually. Really? Psst. Yeah. Not be, here. Not, not here. Not oh. here. It's in a different state. They're not. I'm even. sure they know somebody here. They went to a, Probably, you know, police academy know. one, two, or three with them. <laughs> I don't know. This is in a different state. So let me tell you. So I get pulled over in my work car. Mm -hmm. I was looking at my cell phone and he knew oh. I was looking at my phone, but I was trying to give him the, I was clocking back in from lunch because I used uh, to drive. I, I didn't know to be a good, you know, I was being a good employee. I thought by clocking out, like, oh, I'll just take my lunch break on the road. They won't pay me mm -hmm. anyway. So I'm checking that and I get pulled over and I'm like, oh, I know a, a police officer. I should have called them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I get a call about 30 minutes later after I've, this is all over. You got pulled over in a Prius. <laughs> and I'm just like, dang. And then I, it's funny. I forgot to pay that ticket and it, it like tripled oh, to like $400. Fuck. And uh, so I paid it. And then I got all, I got like $300 something dollars back after I paid it. Really? I don't know why. I I'm just going to say you need the plug at uh, the police department. Dude, one time I got, they all talk. I got a parking ticket one time. Oh, this is the worst. Before COVID. And then I was like, oh, I got to pay it after COVID hit. Because I was like, I got to like lock in my bills real mm -hmm. quick. Cause I don't know what's, I was, I was in a panic at the start of COVID. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let me pay my rent early this month. Mm -hmm. Let me, let, let me send out some money. So I know what I'm working with for the, for the next, like, you know, while. I remember that March. That was rough. Oh yeah. And so I like fucking paid, I went to go pay the fucking bill and it was already paid for me. I was like, okay, cool. But I guess, I guess there was like some good Samaritan out there that paid off 
hell of parking tickets in Sacramento. Oh, that's what I heard, and that's awesome. That was, and so that was pretty cool. But shout out to that person. I have you no clue. Who, shout out. Shout I don't out know that who that was. The parking ticket wasn't that much. I think it was like sixty bucks. It was, it was just like I was parked for longer than two hours somewhere. But like, I don't know. That was fucking real, Man. real shit. Good. The oh, best man. things ever happened to me was uh, going through a Starbucks drive-through and somebody paid for my Starbucks. And they, they do this, the pay yeah. it forward. Thing. Oh, the pay it forward. And then I was do like, you pay it forward? I go, how much is the next person behind me? And, and they're like, oh, it's twenty six dollars. And I go, <laughs> I go, you know what? <laughs> Tell them I, I would have. And I just take it. <laughs> <laughs> I just ride out. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny, though. I So uh, I don't go to Starbucks that much anymore because just with the energy drinks and everything. Oh, yeah, this is, yeah. I like the to, to go coffee. I it's like just, 7-Eleven it, coffee. Well, uh, I go to the Chevron by my house, and now I know the person. It was rough during COVID. They, they went through... <laughs> I went through a couple employees where I'm like, oh, I don't know you. And you get a familiarity with yeah. them and you're like, hey, what's going on? How's this going? Yeah. I like having those conversations in the morning. You know, you grew up seeing that as a little kid with the adults. So I kind of just want to keep that going. But, yeah. um, oh man, I have no idea what I was talking about. Coffee. Seven Eleven coffee. 7-Eleven. I went, this is actually from the 7-Eleven. I, uh, I have a buddy who owns it, so uh-huh. I, and uh, his aunt works oh, there. Nice. So I always go and I see her, and I go, "Hey, what's, she's like, long time no see." Her. I yeah, like, I got married. That's what I was going to talk about getting married uh, with coffee, not to coffee. We all have a <laughs> relationship. No, so uh, the morning of my wedding, I went to Starbucks mm-hmm. and I ordered my drink, and they got my drink order wrong. I ordered a black coffee. <laughs> I ordered a black coffee, and they came at me with some uh, mocha. Oka choka. So I don't know what it was. Choka, fucky fuck. I was like, what? And they go, and the and the croissant. And I go, well, I wanted the croissant. They go, well, here's the croissant. And uh, I said, but I wanted a black coffee. They go, you don't want this? I go, no, I want a black coffee. I don't know what that is. Just black coffee, please, with a little bit of cinnamon powder. They go, okay. And then I'm like, man, this isn't a good start to my morning. The lady overhears me. And she's like, what? I go, oh, it's just not a good start to my morning. I'm getting married today. And my coffee order got messed up. And she's like, oh my God, you're getting married today. Yeah. I was like, yeah. She goes, and I was like, "All oh, right, on." So, nice. uh, and my frown went upside down. That's all I can say. Yeah, I was pretty. That was a great day, and thank you were part of that day. Oh yeah, I say thank that you. was really fun. A lot of people a... liked you. I had, I That's liked good. you. Hopefully, you didn't uh, get too hot from that fire that was burning. Dude, that was some. You know, I didn't bring a jacket, and I was really worried. But thank God that fire. In the mist, uh, I wish I would have taken my my blazer off, but I had pants issues. I lost a little yeah. too many. I mean, you can't tell now, but I lost some LBs before that wedding. And, really? Uh, yeah, I, I got on the COVID diet, and I lost about 25 pounds after I got, <sighs> yeah. So I was pulling my Yeah, you look a lot like, thinner from, like, the last time I saw you a long time ago. Did you see my face that day? At I the mean, wedding? In, like, the light. I know you saw me, but yeah. like, everyone was like, did you get a spray tan? And I was like, no. No? And, uh, yeah, everyone kept calling you me Trump. look as brown as normal. They were call- They were like, 45. I'm like, 45. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, man. 45, what up? And I was like, what? You get the spray tan. That's your boy. I'm like, don't say that out loud. What are you doing? <laughs> no, and it's just because the last two days that I was working out there, it was uh, in the middle of the day, so it was the sun peaking, just oh, yeah. cooking my brown skin to prove. Dude, when I worked on that farm, me and my brother, he worked with me, too. The tan boys. We turned orange as fuck. <laughs> I, had a second jo- I had a second job, too, that I did like eight hours a week at just to earn some extra money. And fuck, dude, I'd come in, and I remember one of my friends was like, oh, you're orange. And I was like, really? And then, just like, you know, I got my socks on. I'd, like, f- flip my socks and you down. Don't Holy you're shit, seeing dude. It, the progression go day to day to day, so you oh, see yeah. the same thing. You know, yeah. I got some mean farmer's tan, though. That's, um, hey, you know what? That's awesome for you, though. At least you weren't. I mean, because then what other color would you? You never think you're pale until you're pale, right? Until yeah. you see it. Then you're like, all oh, these ankles. I don't wear socks. For I like, you know what? I like being white as fuck, dude. Hey, I like hey, being hey, snow. I'm half snow bunny over here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not a snow bunny. I'm kind of like proud when I walk into the room and everyone's like, ah, <laughs> I'm proud of it, dog. You That's know, me. Be white. Oh, I better be careful with that. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going there. <laughs> Watch out. But, uh, I, I, sa- I said I was proud of being very bright, not very white. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but what's the difference? You know? 
if you mean bright as an intelligent, that would be <laughs> we're canceled, dog. I'm going to be the first non-famous person to get canceled in record timing. Dude, I, you know what? One time I fucking, I got into, I said, I said a very inappropriate comment a mm -hmm. long time ago to somebody on Facebook and they were my friend, but it wasn't the, it wasn't the location to make the comment. <laughs> and so <laughs> I picture the kid's party. He goes, he goes, <laughs> nah. and, and I, so, so I, Deleted my comment and then I, I DM'd him and I, I apologize. I talked about it with him. We were all cool. Mm -hmm. Everything was fine. It was a moment that I got checked and I like, that's when I like, okay, this is different and I needed to like, you know, learn from it. Well, somebody screen capped that shit and posted it on Facebook and wrote a fucking monologue of how it's so disappointing. I, by you? the way, I Did didn't know this. You? I didn't know this person. Were you tagged? I was tagged. Oh yeah. See. And so they wanted the smoke. They yeah. They, <laughs> they they. You ain't tagging somebody if you don't want the smoke. Yeah. Look at this shit. And so, but no, I'm like, tag. didn't even didn't even <laughs> scribble my name out or nothing. Just fucking <laughs> tag. I can't believe this sacramental music. This is disappointing. Do -do 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 -do. And I commented like, yo. I I like we already got this situation solved oh, and the dude. person that was with me was like hey we got this situation solved I do not agree with the way you handled this I would have I had to double down oh. and I said hey we drop the pin send location send location <laughs> that's what you should I could no you, you know what I don't want to listen I don't want to fuck with crybabies. That's it. Like, like, like listen like if you're going to do that shit like I I understand if it was I during needed the pandemic you know you had time no, it was it was before the pandemic. But oh, okay. like I like I know like I know I needed to be checked. But like I don't need you to put me on blast like that just to humiliate like or like do your best attempt to humiliate me or take away oh, my livelihood it's or something. embarrassing whether it's getting it's, fixed or not. You're like, "Hey, look, this was I I noticed it. I deleted it. This was, it, you know, and you it's have just to do this. like just some you, extra. You know what? And it was like, you know, obviously it was some like, you know, some bitch with a septum piercing green hair and fucking a, a hairline just like like as if they had bangs and just someone just ah, I'm fucking crazy. Man, Look at me, I'm beautiful. That's I just I'm beautiful that. and bisexual. I just, <laughs> I, just, I just saw a picture this morning of a girl with the same haircut you're describing. She's <laughs> she's an illegal alien from China and she supposedly I don't because I don't want to say she did. She supposedly set fire. To a historical church in Alabama. And she's not even from here. And she's that upset. Damn. I, th that's crazy. When you're so mad at the West, you're like, that I'm you going out there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to destroy that's it. That's terrorism. That's terrorism. Hey, but they're starting from the beginning. The alphabet and moving on up. Like, oh, Alaska? Alabama. All right, let's go to Alaska. I don't got time to spell. <laughs> I I know the, to those a, are the only uh, A states I know off the top of my head. Arizona. There we go. Arkansas. There we go. You said Alaska, right? Uh huh. Alabama. Uh huh. That's it. That's it. That's it. I hope. What's all the B states? Let's go through it. All fifty. No way. Because <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, I'm gonna forget one. Is there a state that starts with Z? Mm -mm. No. Someone's like Zimbabwe. I've been waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting to say Zimbabwe <laughs> of my whole life. So I know that one. Is there? No, that, no, there is a country that starts with the letter Q. I remember, uh, what grade was it? When did you have to study that? Like the seventh grade. Like the states? and Yeah, the states and the capitals. I don't remember. I've done it multiple times in elementary school, middle school. Not that much in high school because it was, you were but we focused on countries. But I think it was a seventh grade. And I remember, uh, I remember, yeah, it was seventh grade because there was a girl that sat next to us and she just got braces. Mm -hmm. Remember everyone that used to have braces? They put the rubber bands around their mouth. Oh, I, had, I have a I gap. Had that shit. I so hate what? That. There was another kid that sat next to me that had a gap. I didn't meet a lot of kids with gaps in their, their front teeth. Like, like a middle, me. yeah. Um, and we would take the rubber bands and we'd put them around our teeth thinking it would close our gap for us, like the cheap way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Mom. I used to, I so I had a big gap. Mm -hmm. People called me SpongeBob back in high school. You know and what? So, it's, it, it, no, that's it's, inappropriate. 
That's inappropriate. I'm not gonna lie though. I kind of found that funny. When someone, the first person to call, him, yo, you look like fucking SpongeBob. I laughed. My, my homegirl gets called, dude. They call her Donkey from Shrek. <laughs> Dude, donkey. Yeah, and because uh, she had a she had a gap, she she don't have the gap anymore. She got it corrected. N- not that there was anything to correct, but yeah, yeah. they used to, they, in high school they called her donkey. I may actually have this wrong. I would rather be called donkey than Shrek. If, in reality, if someone was like, "Hey, yeah. Shrek," I'd be like, "Damn, <laughs> but really, damn." What I used to do is I used to hold my teeth and like pinch them. And I would do it that. Hurts. And it hurts. It hurts a lot. And that's why I thought it was working because, well, I mean, you know, the rest of my I'm mouth. So my, like my, the rest of my mouth is in pain from braces and it's doing that same exact thing. So I figured, hey, why not help it out? You know? And like, I don't think it really helped. In general. It takes two years for them to. That's fine. Dude, that's crazy how we did that shit. I used Dude, to think. Braces. You ever fucking... see when they do something in like a time lapse and it's always the same person's mouth and it's like. Right, and you yeah. see the teeth. I was thinking, like, man, someone sat there for two years like this, and then I'm like, oh, there was definitely pictures. <laughs> um, oh man, <sighs> I haven't been called anything. Um, well, you know, my nickname is Gagos. You know, I can't Gagos. Yeah, I, you know, it's funny. I'm thinking to myself, I can't be on here talking about oh, gays and and whatever. My nickname's Gagos, and it's actually funny. I live with the guy who came up with the name. And the guy didn't even know, he didn't realize that that's not how you pronounce my last name. Uh, my last name is Gallegos. And Gallegos. it's so funny because I said Gallegos for the longest time yeah. until you learn, oh, you got to say it. With the two L's name. is the y sound in Spanish. You know what? You could quiz me on it and I couldn't give you the answers. I do know it comes from Galicia in Spain, uh, but everybody everybody used to just call me Gallegos or Dave. And I hated Dave. Uh, I was like, oh, you can call me Dave. I don't really like Dave. I've never liked Dave. I like the show Dave. I yeah, do yeah. not like the name Dave. Yeah. And uh, I always thought Dave was like old man. Like old, like you never called an old guy David. You always called the young people David and the old yeah. guy's Dave, right? Well, yeah. that's how I thought. So anyway, uh, I used to have a thing where I'd invite my buddies over and then I'd kind of ditch them to like go hang out with the girls, right? But you'd invite <laughs> your friends over to drink and party yeah. or just hang out. Anyway, uh, one of my friends was like, oh, he's like, oh, where's David Gagos at? And they all were like, who? Oh, David Gagos. And for some reason, he thought my last name was David Gagos. And they just, and they, because gay was in there, they kept it. You should be gay ghost. I was, <laughs> I, I think I was about 19 or 20, you know, when I got that name. And it's been 12 years and that name's still around. Oh. It's uh, it's embarrassing when a girl calls you gay ghost. Like, oh, hey, what's up, gay ghost? And you're like, oh. Uh, I'm married now, so it doesn't matter what bitches call me. Yeah. Fuck y'all. Yeah. I feel like when you're in a good relationship, you can call women bitches. Man, even when if you're not in a good relationship, you call women bitches. Just really? Be, yeah, you got to be careful. Because uh, some, you know what? A lot of times. I can call people, women bitches now. I'm happy in a relationship. I think most people. Everyone's a bitch. <laughs> Everyone who is sexually attracted to me, bitches. Well, you know, the shoe fits. Yeah. But I think if you say bitches and you're being comedic about it or funny, most people can kind of That's roll fine. with it. But if you're just like, oh, this bitch over here and this fucking... This you know. Bitch! Yeah. Like, yeah. No, people get pissed off. I, you know, that. the older I get, I thought I'd, I would, you know, I wouldn't be, con you know, saying bitch all the time. <laughs> oh, I say, I dude, I call... I'm going to be 88 years old. I'm not going to lie. I call, like, random things bitch more than people. Do you ever think <laughs> about when you're old, and I'm talking 70s, 80s, if you're still here... You know, 90s, hopefully you are. <clears throat> what is it that are you afraid that you might continue to keep saying? Or like something that you remember when you were this age, for some mm -hmm. reason, gonna because you see old people now and you're like, damn, they're saying some weird stuff. Mm -hmm. I asked my uncle a couple about two months ago, I said, hey, what was the big, he's a big gambler, what was the biggest gamble you ever hit? Yeah. And he's talking about a $600 jackpot win on a game I've never even heard of. And he's not all there. So maybe that mm -hmm. wasn't him not all being there. Yeah. But, uh, Man, it's sad because I don't want to say anything. There's some stuff that you know I tucked away. Like, oh yeah, we're never talking about that. Yeah, that was that was. Yeah, whew, we gotta went to jail. Let's, let's pretend that never happened. Yeah, times where you know, I almost got where there was one time I thought I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna get jumped or like shot. For what you said? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was I was in a room and somebody wanted to come into that room and the three people in there were like, just hold the door, and I was you know okay. I was like you know. 
thick boy, but, you know, in shape thick boy then. So I was holding the door, and it's two guys on the other side trying to get in. And then finally one of them said their name. And the guy's, oh, no, let him in. And the guy comes in. He looks me up and down. And I'm like, oh, no. And I am definitely not supposed to be with these people. Like This, yeah. this was you hanging out with some people you met. And then you met some other people through them. And then you're hanging out with people you with those people that you only met a couple times at a party. Yeah. And it was just uh you are just looking for the party. I remember always just looking for the party. One I never want to go. That's home. how it was when I was in my twenties mm-hmm. or early twenties. I would hang out with any if you had any similar interest to me, I, we were hanging out. Yeah. Even if your lifestyle didn't fit my lifestyle, like I didn't have to live your lifestyle. Like gays. I hung out with plenty of gays. Go I went to ladies' night. I got stories about ladies' night. They are listen, be a lady if you're going out on that night because they don't want to hang out with you. And yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. Talk about aggressive. Yeah. Cheap drinks though. Dollar dollar beers. I'm down. Those Applebee dollar drinks. Man, you know what? It's probably safer to go to Applebee's nowadays. They just destroyed yeah. Applebee's in my town. Really? We're getting a uh, we're That's getting That's right. Canes my girlfriend on. Oh wait, in Fairfield, right? Vacaville. Vacaville. My girlfriend used to work there. Really? Yeah. That dude, we met at Applebee's. Were you ordering stuff? No, we worked together. You worked at Applebee's? We, I, yeah, I worked there for, for a Man, year, for you a were full my year. Where was the call? Dude, I hooked up everybody. I Tristan, like- okay, Tristan, who was on the last podcast, mm-hmm. I met him at Applebee's. He came in as a per, like as a patron. <laughs> he came in as a person. He came as a person, and now he's a dog. But <laughs> <laughs> like he came, he came in, and uh, and I I just chopped it up with him, and I was having a really rough day, and he was with a circle of friends, and then I was like, yo. I'm fucking tired. Can I eat my lunch with you guys? Because y'all seem cool. And they're like, <laughs> yeah. And so I pulled up and I was just eating food with them and oh, shit. Yeah. We were chopping it up. And I ended up like, out of all of like the like the f- people that were there, I really clicked with him. And him and I have been friends ever since. And he was like. What'd you eat though? I don't remember. Probably some like. F- Chicken tenders and fries. Well, I, so I order a lot of the. Um. Like the Happy Meal, or not the Happy Meal. That's worse than chicken happy, dinner and fries. Happy, just, happy hour. Uh, can like, I get the apple like slices, the, please? The boneless wings and shit. Like, I, like I, I'm a sucker for the appetizers. The appetizers fill me up like Appetizers crazy. everywhere. Yeah. Are like, especially post-COVID, because they had to really condense those uh, mm-hmm. menus. And, man, you know how many... I'll eat sweet potato fries. That's something in the pandemic I discovered I liked. Sweet potato fries. Oh, I love sweet potato and fries. And my girl, we have an air fryer, uh, oh, and nice. she just cooks them up. And I'm like, I don't even want... All right. All right. <laughs> And she burns them sometimes, I think, on purpose, so she can eat them. So she can eat them. Uh, so she knows I won't eat them. Because you're a fat ass, and you'll eat all of them. That's how I am. My girl will make she, stuff we, specifically we, just so that I don't eat all of it. She heated up two slices of pizza. We had two slices of pizza left over from the night before, and she goes, I'm going to heat up uh, the, the pizza. It's two slices. One for you, one for me. And I'm thinking, like, why don't I just get them both? <laughs> Why don't you just heat those up for me? Dude, my girlfriend got really mad at me yesterday because we had this, like, a box of bagel dogs. And they're, like, mini bagel dogs. <laughs> and I was, like, going through the freezer because I just got back from my hike yesterday. And I was, like, ah, I just want some, like, quick food. And so I opened the box. There's two. There's two left. Out of, like, a 20. She left two. And I cooked them and I ate them. And then I told her that I cooked them and I ate them. And she goes... Okay, so now you're going to be buying me f- some more fucking bagel dogs because those were mine. I was saving those. I was like, you're saving two of them? How big are these uh, bagel dogs? You know? this. Not, my thumb is bigger. So here's something. I you know, I don't I don't brag about, you know, I love my wife. And I'm pumped I get to say those types of things now. Yeah. But one thing, when she came here from Texas, I guess it's like a Texas thing. They make their own little uh, bagel dogs, yep. like little weenies, mm-hmm. little weenies. Yep. And they just go get, you know, my mom used to make them for like biscuits and mm-hmm. she goes and gets little smokies and she makes those things. Oh at yeah, home. I love smokies, I wrapping eat, that up. Th- that's when I can eat like 20 of them. I would never go anywhere and order those. I would never buy yeah. those frozen and eat them. But if she makes them, oh, you better watch out, you little weenies. <laughs> you better watch those little weenies because I'm going to... Gobble, them Gobble up. those weenies, dude. Yeah, little Smokies make I'm, it non sexual. Re- little, you know smo- little Smoky sounds even more sexual than little weenies. I'm not going to lie, though. I love goblin weenies, like of any type. Um, I love, like, when one of the biggest things I used to, before everything got political, uh, Berkeley. I used to love going to Berkeley. I got caught in a uh-huh. riot with the homies. Um, we uh-huh. were, yeah, so we used to call it the Fat Man Mile in Berkeley. <laughs> That's what we'd call it. Well, being, I mean, we're all husky gentlemen. I mean, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so what we would do is we'd park up. Uh, by uh, you know where Top Dog is, 
No, I don't know Berkeley. Okay, so there's a there's two hot dog spaces called uh, Top Dog. Okay. The one that's the closest to the college, and then it's basically like an L shape mm-hmm. of food, and it's the main street. And anyway, so we'd park past the Top Dog, and we'd walk down, start there. You get a hot dog, right? And it's that's all they do is hot, hot I mean, it was hot dogs. And in fact, it was so old school, you could only pay in cash, no card. And you basically walk in, order your dog, stand to the right, or walk outside, and then they give you your dog, and you walk out. It's pretty quick. And uh, they have all the fixings right behind you. Mm-hmm. You start to get, so you eat your hot dog. Then you walk down the street, and then you go to Fat Slice. So then you get a fat slice of pizza. So now you're eating your pizza with your buddies. You're hanging out, looking at the homeless people, asking you for change. Uh, and you're like, sorry, I got no change. And you damn well know you got a $1.17. Yeah. You probably could give to this guy, but mm-hmm. you know what? That's my dollar seventeen. Exactly. And I could end up like you at any moment. <laughs> and I'm going to have to hope that I run into a me again who doesn't have the $1.17. Anyway, story for another time. So then you'd move down from <laughs> Fat Slice to Cream and get yourself an ice cream sandwich. So now you've just consumed a hot dog, pizza, and ice cream. Now you got to walk that off, right? So we walk back up the street where it's just apartments for the college kids, and then you turn left. I don't. I wish I knew these names. But the people that know that place know that place. <laughs> yeah. And then you turn right, and you're out of there. And we call it the Fat Man Mile. You, you eat for half of it, and then you walk the other half off. That's beautiful. It is. It, and uh, now they don't have fat slice anymore. Oh. Uh, there's no pizza. There is a pizza place over there. It's so funny because it looks Italian as shit. Mm-hmm. And you get in there and you're like, there's some Mexicans up in here. My people. Yeah. And <laughs> it is some of the best pizza you've ever had. And uh, they sell it by the slice. You you got to be careful with these by the slice places you go. Because they're not all created the same. No. Nah. And uh, you got to judge it based off. You, do you ever watch those pizza reviews by the Barstool guy? No, 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 no. I you got to spend that. some time, just okay. like 20 minutes, watch two or three, uh-huh. and uh, you, you'll want pizza afterwards. Really? And then you'll be, you'll start judging pizza more aggressively, because he gives them some low scores. Like, yeah. I can only tell you on my on one hand how many eights I think I've seen him give. Really? And I've been watching it for like a year and a half. Does he have like a perfect pizza? No. No? No, according to him, there is no perfect pizza. I mean, yeah. he has like stuff that he prefers, but it's never like, oh, this is a 10 out of 10 on this. It's always like, this, this is a good bar pizza. Yeah. It's a, you know, and uh, so one thing is uh, I just burnt my mouth on that pizza she reheated yesterday. So uh, I understand when he's talking about eating the cheese and just burning your face off. Oh, yeah. He does say that a lot. I don't want to burn my face off. So it's, <laughs> I hate hot pizza. What? Well, I mean, like, you know, terribly hot pizza. You Do like, you eat cold pizza? From where? Oh, in general. Um, cold pizza is acceptable if it's from, like, Little Caesars or Domino's. Because it's, you know, it's your quick in and outs, you know? But if it's Dude, from, if you spend over $22 for your pie... Oh, you better you better do the right thing. <laughs> you better go buy a toaster oven. You better go put it in the oven. The I'll tell you, the, I, ever since we got the air fryer, the game changed. Oh, yeah. I, dude, that's why I want to get an air fryer. That's what literally everybody says that. There isn't someone who bought an air fryer and was like, yeah, dude, it's kind of a waste of money, to be honest. <laughs> no, no. Never. You won't find anybody because you can find something you never thought. Those Twinkies I bought in accident, they were like, hey, let's, let's air Throw fry them. them and I'm in like, there. What? Have you had fried? Oh. So I've had deep fried Twinkies. I never had air fried twink- Twinkies, but deep fried Twinkies are fucking good. I finally got to have deep fried Oreos. Oh. And I was like, this is the weakest shit I've ever had. Really? Man, let me tell you, as a fat guy, you know the fat stuff you like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when, of you, when you up the fat scale on, on already fat things, yeah. you better come, it better be the. It was it was too uh, the chocolate. If something happens to the chocolate that I you know my fat ass just was not. Really? <laughs> I was like, Mm-mm. no 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 no, give me the regular Oreo. No no no, can I just buy Oreos from you without you deep frying them? Yeah. And the guy's like, uh, sure. And he just gave me some eight eight Oreos. Yeah. But I'll never do the deep fried Oreo again. One time I deep fried. I tried a deep fried banana. Oh shit! I, I will deep fry a banana. Did you bread not, it first or like no? With- I just saw that they had them. Do you remember? Is <laughs> a tree as a kid? Did your mom ever put like a banana on a stick? And then freeze it and then dip it in chocolate and then freeze it again. Maybe she didn't do it in that order, but my mom used to do that. And I thought, I was like, damn. And then it's just some poor people stuff you do. You're like, oh. Never done that. I I I recommend that that's what you do after today. After the football games today. Yeah. I don't even. Shout out your Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, Pittsburgh Steelers. Way to go. I don't know. They're playing like they're from Pittsburgh out here. Pittsburgh, California. There is a Pittsburgh, California. That's that so not weird. a place you want to go. Let me Dude, tell there's you. a. I was in. Um, 
I can't. I think it was. I can't remember which state I was in. I think it was West Virginia or Maryland this weekend. But there's a there's a Oakland. Out I don't there. remember which state I was in. I was in a few. And I looked at the population. It was like ten thousand, and I'm like, it's probably not as ghetto as I want to live here. Oakland. I want to. I want to say that I live in a town that is named after a big city. Like I want to live in Memphis, Ohio, or what? <laughs> you know, I I am in Oakland quite a bit, and I yeah. can honestly say that. I personally, this is me personally, mm-hmm. I feel safer in Oakland. And I don't need, you know, I don't have any need anyone saying, oh, you know, I'll challenge you to this. <laughs> I don't need the challenge. I feel safer in Oakland than I do in San Francisco. And I, it, I go really? all over to do my work and uh, you see it all. You know, it's there's bad parts in every city. But the there's something about there. Oakland, I think it's because Oakland feels more open. You don't feel so boxed in, closed in, in yeah. like an alleyway or something. Um Last month, perfect example, I had three family members have their car broken to in San Francisco all on the same day. And guess on the same the si- day? Morning, afternoon, and then like an hour Dude, after the afternoon. Fuck San Francisco. Dude, <laughs> I, I can't. Except the Niners. Shout out the Niners. Dude, when I was a kid, I always. Santa Clara Niners. I always loved going places. And my parents would take us to these towns and cities not too far from our house. And I would be so into it. And I was so excited all the time. And then one day, we went to San Francisco. Dude, as a child, I knew that I had hate for that city. Really? That young? Ever since I was like maybe 9, 10, 11, somewhere around that age, the first time I went to to San Francisco, I was like, oh, there's nasty places. (laughs) Is that a movie magazine store, Mom? What is that? I of this. We went to the pier and everything. That was pretty cool. But then like we like drove around like the hilly areas. Mm -hmm. And like the hills are okay. But it's just the whole congestion of everything, traffic. It takes too long. Too it's, long to get in and out of that place. Oh, God, dude. It takes you 30 minutes to drive three miles. Like, it's 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 asinine. And there's no, there's never parking. Mm-hmm. Ne- dude, I will never drive a manual in that city. Jesus I fucking. I drove a manual in that. I, my fuck dad, that. I didn't steal my dad's car. My dad ha- used to own a Mustang 5.0. So it was a pretty, it was a GT. It was, it was That's sweet. too nice. And me and my buddy, we took it one night to the Juicy J concert in San Francisco. Oh. And I stalled it once. And it wasn't on the hill, thank God. I stalled oh, yeah. it on a straightaway out of all things. Yeah. But me and him thought we were so dope driving this car around. And I'm the whole time thinking like, fuck. Please, please, just get up this hill. And I'm just, oh, God, I hate that shit. And, uh, man, you know what's so funny? This is how, this is how long ago this was. Uh, this is when the Juicy J, Wiz Khalifa were, like, together oh, yeah, all yeah, the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. gin, gin was, like, the Bombay gin was, like, everywhere. We bought a bottle of, of Bombay, and we're sitting in the car in the Mustang outside. Uh, we're, like, we're like in Chinatown or somewhere in the city. Uh-huh. I don't remember where this was, but... Uh, we were just getting hammered off off Bombay, which might be like gin might be the worst alcohol to consume as, as an uh. adult under the age of twenty four. It it was the worst thing. It's it's not good, and I don't uh. know how these people drink it. No. I mean, because rappers gotta mix it with some juice or some shit. We were drinking it with juice, but we weren't mixing. We we're just we were on. We had to get out of this car and get our party on. Mm-hmm. I used to love going to concerts, and uh, I'll probably still go back to some concerts. I'm I was thinking about doing aftershock. Uh, next year, Aftershock's way too expensive. Tickets are like five hundred bucks. But you gotta think Fuck about it. Shit. It's also three day, four days of, four of days. concert. So you know, it kind of yeah, pays for itself. Also, like, dude, I'm so done with music festivals. Music festivals used to be fun, but then like COVID hit. Well, no, it's just like just how packed everything is, and it's like I don't know. I'm at to be honest with you, I'm falling out of love with concerts. Mm-hmm. Like big shows, like arena shows, because oh, so, I haven't liked those in a long time. They're so time. disconnected. I like going to Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades is like, this is fun because mm-hmm. we it's got close. we I got see one thousand people in here, yeah. two thousand. I, I I don't know what the cap is, but I think it's like one thousand or something like that. It, it's just so much more intimate. I like it better. You want an alcohol? You want alcohol, dude? It's literally twenty seconds away. I've from I've never you. been to Ace of Spades. There's so many shows that come out here and uh, really I've never been to Ace of Spades. Dude, I've performed at Ace of Spades multiple times. I uh, the new nice. parish in Oakland. I've done the new parish in Oakland. I think uh, 
I think that's where I saw Nipsey Hussle. I have a video on my Instagram when I saw Nipsey Hussle and he was as close as me and you. Right. And I was just like, man. And though that was when I was like, we got to come to this place. But then it's like not in a nice neighborhood. In fact, people couldn't get in. So I started breaking into cars outside and I parked out in front. And I was like, oh, for sure my car got broke into. But the good Lord had me covered. <laughs> I went out there and I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Dude, I've never had my car. I've never had a car broken into, but I have had my car. One time I let my someone borrow my keys. And they left my car unlocked, and all my shit was stolen. All my shit. I had I had a I had a six hundred dollar synthesizer. Why did you have all this stuff? I had car? I had a six hundred dollar beat pad that looked very similar to this, just with beats, dude. Because okay, so this is what happened. I had all this shit in my trunk, and I was staying at this guy's house, and I was like, dude, like. I need, I, like, I need to get into the house. And so he was, he was like, oh, let me borrow, like, he needed to borrow the car for something. Mm -hmm. And so him and I went into the car with all the stuff in there, drove around, did something, came back, and then he left with it while I was there inside You're the house. You're a good friend. That is, and uh, then he came, he came back, and then, I was also stupid. I was also a stupid friend, too. I would never, uh, I was 22, 3, something like that, but... You know, he came back, and then the next morning, I fucking, oh, I got to get my shit out of the car. Check my, pop my trunk. Literally nothing's in here. Literally nothing's in here. Did it, did it feel all like my fucking All my fucking change got swiped. My fucking damn, they were broke. Like they, like yeah, they swiped all of my change. Like, this is ninety-seven cents. I have to have just and I, like all of that shit was in my cup holder, and I was so upset. And I told this dude, I was like, "Yo, man, like." All my shit was stolen. And mm -hmm. I'm not going to like tell him like, yo, you owe me $1,500. Any one of my shit. friends would have said, motherfucker, you, you better go down to the radio shack and go buy me some new equipment. I have, that's. I was, you know what? I was in a, I didn't really like know what to do or how to handle it. But I young, was told, I, get it. I was told he was like, well, why did you leave that stuff in your car? And then I was like. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Don't I gave worry my about buddy, it. I gave my, in fact, uh, I don't talk to that guy no more. Well, I still talk to this guy. Uh, in fact, I'm going to his son's birthday party today. Uh, yeah. Shout out, Sonny, two years old. I love that little kid. He doesn't love me, though. Um, anyway, he, does, he cries every time I try to. I'm like, what's up? Yeah. And he's, oh, you see the look on his face. It, it's one of those looks where you like, I feel terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. What did I do? We used to hold hands and now you don't like me. Uh, but he, I let my buddy borrow my car. We were roommates. And mm -hmm. he drove to Vacaville. He picked some people up that he worked with. Um, and they went to Vacaville to go, like, day drink or something, like, in the middle of the day. And then my car started to overheat on the way home. And he just drove it until it, till it, the, <laughs> he, and the <sighs> engine cracked. The whole block cracked. I mean, it was an old car. It was getting treated yeah. like shit. I hadn't given it an oil change. Uh, it was on me. But he definitely just rode it until it broke. And then it never Fuck. rode again. And then I went, uh, I went like a year, almost two years, almost two full years with no car. And I was, that was young. I was 20 to 22. That's why I don't borrow cars. Cause I don't want to, I don't want to deal with other people. That's why issues. when people like, I remember people, can I borrow your car? Hell, I'm paying for this car. No way. Yeah, no, dude, I, I, I can't. I know. let that same guy borrow this car though. Mm. Different circumstances. We were a lot younger. Um, I mean, the dude gave a speech at my wedding, so I mean, I'm not gonna say. Okay. I'm yeah, not gonna, yeah, he's yeah, still my yeah, brother. Yeah. Well, um, I think we gotta wrap this bitch up. Okay. Yeah. So, um, any last words for for motherfuckers? For Man. the motherfuckers. Look, All look, I can say is that is that I love everybody. I say a lot of rude and mean things. You may have not heard any of those rude or mean things but today. It, but it's all love. But it's all love. You know it's why? Because love. you got to laugh. I mean, there's there's things I could tell you about myself you'd make Yo, fun of me about. I just want to say anybody that wants to ever, ever, ever crack a joke for whatever reason about me. I want all the joke you are not smoke. You're not only invited. I will be offended if you do not tell me that joke. <laughs> I will be offended if I don't hear you say a wicked ass joke about me. You know what? We can end on this. Ready? I don't know anybody that voted for Joe Biden. They could whoop my ass.